Shady, good to see you. Welcome to Poptournative. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good to see you too. Um, you know, the first thing that kind of comes to mind with this film, I mean, you know, um, genre bending down the middle, you know, it's got the thriller component, it's got the drama and everything. How did it read script wise for you? Did it feel like a genre bending movie when you were reading the script? Yeah, yeah, I think it did. Um, I think that the the script was great, but it really did come to life afterwards. I, I kind of didn't even really realize the movie we were making until I saw it at the end, which is, it's kind of fun because I think Augie had a, a, a very specific vision that you can't always articulate on the page, um, but it, he executed it really well. But it is very, it's very genre bending and, and yeah, but I knew the story was really special and that's why I wanted to do it. You've worked on a lot of projects like this where the dialogue is very tension heavy. The conversations that your character is having with Ezekiel and your character is having with Miranda, Noah, it's intense and it's kind of this slow burn, but sometimes the pace is pretty quick. What do you think about the pace of the dialogue and the conversations in At The Gate specifically from a storytelling acting perspective? That's a great and specific question. Um, I feel <laughs> like... Um, I feel like what was really fun is that Augie um, really is the kind of director who wanted his actors to play. And so he wasn't married to the script, which he wrote himself. Um, and he really wanted us to kind of make it our own and throw in whatever we wanted. And and he kind of came up with ideas on the spot too. And we were just kind of, it was a really fun sort of like playful energy when we were doing a scene. So I feel like that translated and um, it, the conversations feel very real and organic, uh, which is my favorite kind of tone, I feel like, um, even though the the movie itself is sus suspenseful and it's a thriller and there's drama and everything, but it still has like this very grounded element to it um, because of the dialogue. So I feel like it really is cool. Yeah. So you know where I'm coming from. The dialogue. I I'm so invested. I did one of those lean ins. You know, when you watch something you're really into, you do one of these like lean ins. Like, oh, my God, this is like <laughs> not just a dinner conversation. This is like intense. This is going to lead to the yeah, next move. Yeah. Uh, um, pay attention. It, you know, with it is spooky season and everything. And, you know, this is a thriller, not necessarily a horror, but, you know, the horror movie fans eat it all up. They eat up the thriller, the horror and everything. Is it cool to be working on, you know, thriller and horror movies at a time where there is a big appetite for this content specifically? Yeah, absolutely. I, I love watching thrillers, especially like psychological thrillers, like which I feel like this one falls under. Um, I love when you kind of don't trust certain characters when you're trying to figure out what's going on inside somebody's head and you don't know. And um, that's like my favorite kind of movie. But I haven't done like a true horror yet, which I think is on my bucket list. I need to get like bloody and dirty. <laughs> you know, you can answer this specifically with At The Gates, but like, what is that feeling like? Like, are you getting used to that feeling? Maybe with this one where, like, you make this movie, you rap, you work with an incredible cast. You know, I mentioned Ezekiel, Miranda, and everyone, and Noah. And then you play the waiting game, and now people are able to see it. Like, are you getting, like, are you getting used to that kind of idea? Or, like, what is it like with this film specifically that people finally get to see it? I mean, I think so. You kind of have to get used to it, right? Like, we filmed this two years ago. Mm. I was, like, a completely different person two years ago, it feels like. Um... Yeah, so it's weird and you never you never really get over like you never really get used to it. And especially like a movie like this and an independent movie um, that's like a small kind of like guerrilla style shooting. We shot for like three weeks in L.A. and, uh, you know, it was a small crew and we were in this one house and, you know, it's, it feels very special. It feels like a summer camp. It feels like everybody is like uh, doing this group project together and everybody's passionate and excited. And so it's always sad to say goodbye after. Um, so I'm really excited to kind of celebrate with everybody and all their hard work. And I'm so grateful that we get to release the film now. <laughs> Whether you've been on a set one time or a thousand times, you're always going to learn something new. It's always going to be a learning experience from an acting storyteller perspective. And I find that's really cool because I feel like whether, like the genre of it, the people you work with, you're always going to take something new. What were learning experiences specifically for Sadie Stanley on At The Gates from an acting storyteller's perspective? I think um, a huge lesson and one that I had already started to learn, but um, really had to hone in for this movie was um, giving myself the freedom to play around. Um, I think when you're first starting acting, it's very easy to just like really heavily rely on the script and what the director is telling you and to not make um, choices that uh, f feel like, you know, different. Um, but Augie was so supportive of that. And also our um, adult actors on the show, not that I'm not an adult, I, I am. Uh, you know what I mean? But the, the <laughs> actors who play parents, Miranda and Noah, um, you know, they're very well established in the industry and, and they've been doing this for a long time. So I watched them kind of 
set the tone and get really comfortable um, playing around. And Augie was very supportive of us playing around. So I think that's that's what I focused on a lot filming this. I'm a creative as well. So I've been around, you know, Video Village and I see all the takes and everything. Depending on like the situation, this is kind of like my first question I asked you, Sadie, about, you know, how it read in the script. But what is that like? you know, seeing in the script and then seeing it like on set translate into like the screen and video village specifically, like what's that feeling? Like, I feel like it's always going to be a surreal feeling specifically. It so is. It's so surreal. It's such a weird feeling watching a movie for the first time that you worked on, um, especially this one. Cause honestly the, the script was, it was great and the story was um, beautiful and that's why I wanted to do it, but it was, um, it wasn't this, it, it's not what it turned into. Um, I think that Augie all along had this great vision um, and he executed it really well, but I couldn't have even dreamed of like how great it turned out. You know, it, it's, it's so awesome. See, I don't know about you. I love going into things fresh. Like I just like mm -hmm. watching it without knowing much. Right. So I did not watch the trailer for at the gates okay. and it was interesting. It was uh, it was a cool experience, right? Because no, we really that's don't great. at times know where it's gonna go, and I think that's the best yeah. part. Oh, that's really fun. I'm glad you did that. What did you think? I no, it was it was it was amazing and everything. But and then I I watched the trailer afterwards, and yeah, you you know what's happening a little bit. But yeah, we don't give too much away in the trailer, so I feel like. No, 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 you don't. And um, they can do it either way. They can watch the trailer or they can watch the movie fresh. I just like going in fresh. It's a fun, it's a fun way, but I can't wait for people to see it. They're going to be able to see it in, in uh, New York and LA in theaters. It's at the gates. It's a really good thriller, an important film as well. Talk, talk, it tackles a lot of very important topics as well. Do you want to speak to that a little bit? Like, what was it like kind of reading about, you know, the important, like the immigration kind of component of it as well? Cause that was, that must've really been an eye opener when you read it on the script. Yeah, absolutely. It's what's what drew me to the project to begin with. I mean, it's obviously very effective and fun and suspenseful thriller, but the the heart of the story is this beautiful relationship between Nico and his mom, um, who are undocumented immigrants from El Salvador. And um, we see like just the very real, uh, you know, what what that looks like for 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 them. And um, yeah, that's definitely what drew me in. And we, we tackle a lot of topics like classism and racism and, and all kinds of things. It's very interesting. My character, Lauren, is really learning a lot, too. Um, so while I was learning, she was also kind of learning. It's a great film, but most importantly, it is an important film. Sadie, so great chatting with you. Thank you so much for your time, and thank you for coming on Popternative. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. This has been an Autograph Communications production.